I connect Google search data to Screaming Frog? That is a brilliant question. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Search Console data into Screaming Frog to make your audits even more in-depth. So let's have a look at how to actually connect it. So here's Screaming Frog. All you need to do is simply go into configuration, down to API access. Uh, analytics we've done in a previous video, so you can check that out. But uh, Search Console is here. Click on this, and then you click on Connect to New Account. And when you do this, it fires off to a uh, different. It fires off to a URL, or you just log into Search Console. Um, but I'm going to stop the recording just while I do that because I can't reveal uh, client information. So yeah, um, you'll have just done that and come back. You'll land on this user account page, which has all the. Uh, accounts you've got access to but obviously I can't show you that because that's our full client list and most of them under NDAs but then these are the options you've got the date range uh, which is here you can choose whichever date range Pre uh, default is set to the past 30 days but you can change it to whatever you want again like I said in the um, analytics video it would be great if you could have a comparison so you could look at two date ranges um, I'll tweet them again at that feature Dimensions filter, you can bring back all, you can select a country if you want to look at specific countries, um, if not you can look at everything, or you could do specific filters um, if you're looking for certain queries for example. I usually leave that to none, and usually that to none depending on what I'm doing. And again for device if you want to look at specific things, so maybe we just want to look at mobile impressions for example. And then general. Um, Again, I always take this, say, same as I said in the Google uh, Analytics video. Ideally, it should find none, but if there are URLs it's found in Google Search Console that's not found on any site, you do want to call them. Um, and that's why, then you just click OK, and you're done, and you st enter the URL like normal, hit Start, and then you can see up here you've got a new field called API, and it'll just fill that in. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's uh, how you do it, but why is more importantly. Well, if you just call in with Screen Frog, that's a great start. You, you are doing a good technical audit. It's pr pretty much a great technical audit. But if you want to go to that one step extra and get the real data, then you do need to connect things like Google Search Console and Google uh, Analytics to get in that extra bit of data to really dig in and find all the issues. So let's give you a few examples. Um, for Search Console data, you could bring in things like average position and click-through rate. And then with Screen Frog, you can look at your meta descriptions and you can work out which pages have high um, position but low click through rate. And then potentially look at meta descriptions. And because you've got them there, you could see actually there's a trendy of these ones need working on. And then quickly work on them. The data is there in two places, you could do it manually, but with it all being one, it makes it so much easier. And like we covered, there are some advanced features like you want to see do you want to pull in mobile data? Do you want to pull in desktop data? Do you want to pull in. For a specific country, maybe you just maybe this site is US focused. So you just want to look at US data rather than what anomalies you're getting from Canada or from Argentina, etc. And yeah, like I said, pulling in this data allows you to just do the much deeper analysis. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's super easy to do. I would highly recommend you connect Google Search Console data to Analytics. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, where you can see more videos from me and this kid. And also, don't forget to join our Facebook group on Page Rocks Technical SEO Made Easy. Uh, just search for it where there is many questions like this already answered or you can ask your own. Thanks.